morning on the news, I saw that when people at my age leave school, most of the jobs they'll be applying for, they don't even exist yet. So what exactly is school preparing us for? Well, we don't really know. Not even the experts know. But like the world around us, our school right in park is changing every day. We're already 11 years into the third millennium and learning needs to significantly change. Our children are digital natives, so we need to use the tools of the trade that children can use so that they're ready for when they go to the world of work. The ICT that we have used to actually allow the children to develop more ownership over what, what they are doing, especially through the VLE, they can access their own homework, their spellings um, and various things like that, so they can actually choose what they want to do with the ICT and take more ownership in what they're doing. We looked for the key in the media room. We couldn't find the key, but we heard the New Venture News Hounds broadcasting the latest news. Or take history. When we were investigating castles, we became a company of architects, commissioned to build a mansion for an eccentric millionaire in the style of a medieval castle. The children themselves identified the need to do the research. They chose the activity and asked to go to a castle themselves. In the section we go on the way to learn our numbers. Two are ten. But you need to put your two off now. So we're going to move it over a little bit. The world around Geary's Infant School is changing. We use ICT inside, outside and at home to help us learn about our new world. We believe it's important that the children take the technology outside of the classroom, exploring how the world around them, directly around them, is changing. By doing this, we believe the children also have a chance to begin to imagine what their role in this community and this locality will be as they grow up. The new technology represents one of the cornerstones of what we believe to be uh, in really important in terms of dynamic learning environments. Uh, the other cornerstone being active learning and thinking skills and a further one being assessment for learning in terms of celebrating students' achievement but also uh, encouraging reflection on how well they've done and, and how they can improve further. We wrap the curriculum and what we do around the individual. We personalise their education. The students play a bigger part in the running of the school, even making appointments, because technology allows them in many ways to express opinions. We all use email a lot, so if you need to talk to a teacher rather than chasing them down, you just send them an email and they'll get back to you quickly. We try and make learning fun and engaging. Who are some students within our support centre using iPads to improve their speaking and listening skills? Um, so the reason that we decided to adopt learning logs in this school was because we really wanted to give the children an opportunity to be responsible for what they learnt at home. So rather than us give them a single piece of work which they had to achieve, instead we've given them a range of activities and we call that learning logs. So the idea behind it is they can identify what type of learner they are. In food technology, a visualiser connected to a series of flat screen monitors are used to provide pupils with a close-up view of the various techniques employed in the food preparation. The visualizer can also record the demonstration along with the teacher's commentary. This can then be posted on the school's dedicated Google video channel, which can be accessed from home. And what do you do when you're a website manager? Well, when you're a website manager, if there's class assemblies or special events going on, like school fairs or, like I said, class assemblies, you get a camera and you take photos and videos and that, and then you upload them to the school website, and then anybody who wants to walk and see them. So someone in Australia could go on the website and could see our school fair. We know that we've been taught differently from our mums and dads, which is why we make tutorials using the Show Me app. For parents to see how we learn, we put this on the school website, it also reminds us. Well, the impact on progress is quite astonishing. We know from our own research into our data that those children that engage the most with technology at school and at home make the most progress. But this is even more pronounced and more obvious.